Hi everyone, welcome to today's trade of the day and for today's trade of the day I'll be looking at the euro dollar. Now very interesting because uh, the euro actually uh, greatly weakened overnight right so uh, it'll be quite interesting to see what the euro has to do against the dollar today right so <coughs> we saw the euro actually push up okay and then over here seemingly uh, it just reversed back down right uh, but we really do not know the reason why it reversed if you think you do not know you just have to look to the left right to the left if we have a resistance over here all right price actually tested the previous high right price tested previous high and reverse lower so very simply we have a resistance okay uh, we just want to see whether price really would drop further down and if so where can we go so this is the resistance let's quickly go down to the four hours so the euro dollar on the four hours we see that price actually made a strong push starting up from here went all the way up to the high right <coughs> So for that, we want to use a Fibonacci retracement tool from the low to the high, open all Fibonacci ratios and we see that price actually test, tested 38 okay, as a support, right? so price actually reacted off the 38 support. And of course the next support level will then be the 50. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and highlight the 38. Okay, the 38 and the 50 right now very simply we see that price bounce okay price tested right this strong support if we were to look further to the left and extend this line further back okay we see that this was a very strong support level where price tested once twice broke came back up tested as support again came back down tested as support again so <coughs> we can say for sure that because of this strong support price should bounce higher right so of course this will be our the high i'll just use price may retest the high and it could simply go into sort of a double top pattern right so price could retest the high right and of course uh, let's go down to the one hour so on the one hour right we in in the line chart okay we see that price is actually making low high higher low higher high so price should make a higher low and push up for a higher high all right so what we want to do now is find our entry okay so in actually we can draw a trend line connecting the lows touch as many candlesticks as possible without cutting the candle body okay we can have the entry somewhere at this level over here right and this can be our buy entry All right, we can also use Fibonacci retracement of the last low to the current high. Open all Fibonacci ratios, but I'm thinking this could be 61.8. Okay, so right there, 61.8. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight 61.8 as our buy entry. Now, we have a full take profit. We wanna find a partial take profit, right? We see that price made a strong push down. So let's use Fibonacci retracement from the high to the low. Open all Fibonacci ratios. And we see that 50%, if we look to the left, is a strong resistance turn support. Okay, so this can be our second take profit, or, or rather our partial take profit. Right, so I'm just gonna put there, partial. Okay, so we have two take profit targets, right? Very nice. Okay, why I chose this 50% level? Because price tested there as resistance, broke above, came back, tested as support, traverse, traverse sideways, came back down, tested it as support before breaking again. So price could push up, okay, test it as a resistance, come back down and break up and test the recent high. All right. <coughs> so then we have already found our support, uh, sorry, our stop loss, our stop loss will be the 3820. So this can be the stop loss. Now, people will be asking me, what then is this 50, what then is this other line for? Okay, this will be the alternative target. Okay, should price break below the stop loss, we can flip the trade the other way and go short, right? And take advantage of this move to recoup our losses. So let me just highlight the 50% for this. Okay, 
Interestingly enough, the negative 27% for this retracement also falls in line with our 50% on the daily, okay, on the 4 hour. Right, so I'm going to highlight the 50 and negative 27. Okay, with that, let me just zoom out so we get a nicer idea. <coughs> Okay, this will be our trade for the day. And last but not least, let us check with momentum. All right, uh, it, its price is a bit choppy over here. So moving average will definitely not work. But MACD is clearly above zero, showing that there is still room for further bullish momentum. All right, thanks everyone. Thanks for tuning in to today's trade of the day. I wish that this has been helpful. Wish you guys all the best. Stay safe and trade safe. And I'll catch you guys again. Take care.